It's Mertz Schaffer, and I'm on the set of Dan for Mayor Season 2. Stay tuned for Part 1 with my interview with Mary Ashton. I have a surprise for her and a surprise for you. You know, sometimes I feel like I wish that I lived in Wessex. Do you, do you think I would fit in? Do you think that I have, like, the face of a Wessex resident? Oh, certainly. Yeah? Certainly. Do I, I really need this? Absolutely. Does Fred have to do this? Yes. I feel like I'm just turning more brown. All right, so I am behind the scenes on Dan for Mayor 2. Um, yes. What is so different about season two than season one? Um, way more profound, deep. Uh, no, it's really funny. It's really funny. The, the season is uh, really tight. The writers have got it going on and everybody's, all the characters are ready to go and, and it's just way funnier. And now tell me what it's like dating the mayor of Wessex. It's exciting. It's really exciting. No, it's awesome. I, uh, um, it's it's fun because we've kind of have a role reversal in that. Uh, where, whereas last year he was kind of figuring out what he was doing. This year I'm the one trying to figure out what I'm doing. While he's kind of got it, you know, got it together, even though he really doesn't. Right, right. It seems like he's got it together. So I've kind of used him like in an episode. I use him and uh, use use his power, even though I was all against that. I was like, no, 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 that's not right. And then there I go, I use it. But yeah. You know, in politics they always say that behind every great man is a great woman. Is that the case on Dan for Mayor? Definitely. Is it all about Claire? Definitely, all about Claire. They should really call it Claire for mayor. Uh, behind Dan for mayor. Well, I like or Claire, Claire for, for mayor. mayor. See that rhyme? Why that not? That would create it, right? some serious tension, and then we could yeah run against each other. I think so, Claire for mayor. When when we last saw Claire, she couldn't even stand to see Dan's acceptance speech. So how will they recover from yeah. this? Yeah. Oh, I can't say, but I, what I can say is it's a, a really sweet first episode. So yeah, I, I go off to Vancouver. Oh, I no do, way. I do actually go to Vancouver. This doesn't look like Vancouver. No, though. no, no. That's the, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, <laughs> the cliffhanger there. <laughs> in, a, in a real election, would you vote for Dan? Maybe. Maybe. I definitely wouldn't uh, vote for Alan. I wouldn't have voted. Maybe I would have voted for Anita. I don't know. I don't You would not so. have voted no. for Anita, no. Well, no. Anita, you know, woman power. I might have voted for Anita, yeah, yeah. But uh, no, no, definitely. In real life, no, I wouldn't have. <laughs> and, and why not? Um, he's a nice guy. You know, he's a nice guy. He's got good intentions. However, he might have been well manipulated. So yes, maybe I would have voted for him. I changed my mind. I, I feel like this is a show that's very Canadian and has a lot of heart. You know, yeah. that's actually, I think, what stood out to me the most was the heart of the yeah. show. How do you describe that? Like, what is it about the characters that we grow so attached to? Um, you're right. It, the, the show has a lot of heart. It's, uh, I guess that there's just, um, I don't know, there's not a lot of flash, there isn't a lot of, uh, it's not showy. Right. It's real. So I think people really identify, really identify with how it's real. <laughs> Can I say real enough? Uh, yeah. And I wanted to know, like, do you find that there's any similarities between you and Claire? Oh yeah, especially second season. I used to say that about first season, but now that she's way, she, way more vulnerable. Claire's way more vulnerable, uh, which is way more fun to play, but she's just a, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a lot like her, especially in, in how she messes up all the time, so, yeah. Now, I have to say, I, I didn't want to say this, but I have to put it out there. Say it. I like the new hair, you know, the, the, <laughs> the, the, the Peg Bundy look is so season one. I called her my Loretta Lynn. Right, okay. But yes, no, uh, Claire went to Vancouver, so she got a little more uh, up to date and urban. Right, does She's she snowboard hipper. now too? Oh, she what? Does she snowboard? Oh yeah, totally. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Way, on her butt, but yes, she definitely, <laughs> yeah, she's hip. You know, in a, in a day and age where we have so much reality TV, so much like procedural drama, like almost every show has like CSI yeah. attached yes. to the title. Yes. Do you think that there's still an audience for comedy? Yeah, definitely. I think especially like in, uh, especially with the economic t downturns uh, here, there and everywhere, um, I think people really need need to look to comedy. I mean, they need a laugh. Um, I don't know. I wonder that, you know, all this procedural dramas and reality contributes to this kind of chaotic and economic yeah. uh, upheaval that we have that I think comedies balance everybody they give everybody kind of they just bring us all back down to earth so yeah I think there's a lot of room and I think there's more room you know for, for more comedy and finally <laughs> why should people watch this show oh cuz I'm on it that is the best answer that I've ever heard because that's exactly <laughs> the answer that I would have given you know <laughs> Dan you. who Dan you. who Dan who me Claire Okay, are you Mary ready? Ashton. Are you ready yes. for your big surprise? Oh yeah, what's my surprise? Okay, I yeah. told you I had a big surprise yeah. for you. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay, ready. Play. Play. 
flip, flip. Oh, what? who is that? Who is that? Who is who that? Who is that? Who the heck? Oh my god, what? This guy should be mayor. What? Who is that? He's putting a plug in his head. Who's that? Plug it. It's Mertz Jaffer. That's right. Unplug. 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 He just pulled the plug out. Wow, you know, Mertz was unbelievable. Uh, it made me feel a little uncomfortable, actually, for my, my position. Uh, I saw the writers kind of running in the back there, writing some more stuff. And it's really, really impressive that he could do all that with, like, basically nothing. No words, nothing. Just kind of like that. And it was so alive.